Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a possible error message you may get on the phone when you're migrated from enterprise to 3PCC firmware using classic licensing. So this can occur if you either use the cloud upgrader site, upgrade.cisco.com, or if you use a local TFTP, and if there is some type of issue with the license or something's not set up correctly during a firmware migration process. So in this case, the specific message you may get on the LCD of the phone is provide the migration license contact your administrator. So to correct that error message, you want to actually get the classic licensing that's tied to the MAC address of your phone. So this is again classic licensing to migrate the, the phone from enterprise firmware over to MPP. And then we want to make sure with the TFTP D64 application, we're pointing to that directory where the license is at. And then this is going to be the IP address of the TFTP server. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to web into the actual phone itself. Just to point out, I've already clicked on admin, if you notice, and then also I've clicked on advanced already. So we're in admin advanced mode. We're going to go under voice. We're going to go under provisioning. And then we're going to go down here to upgrade rule. And we want to type in TFTP colon forward slash forward slash. IP address of the computer and actually one thing I need to correct is for the licensing era we want to actually type this into the transition authorization rule field we need to actually get the license file name so I'm going to minimize this for a moment we're going to highlight this so that's the actual license file classic license that's tied to the MAC address or our phone. And so at this point, we should be good to submit the changes. So we have TFTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.33 forward slash and then the license file for the actual phone that we just migrated that has error message. So this is the MAC address dot lick and then we're going to go ahead and submit the changes. We're going to minimize this so we can actually look at the TFTP application. So if you notice, that actual license has been transferred to the phone. So at this point of time, the phone should no longer have that error message. And so let me bring up the message again. So at this point of time, no longer should you see the provide the migration license contact your administrator. And the phone should be functional in a sense that you can register it to the third party SIP provider and use it as normal. Thank you for viewing the video. Hopefully this helps you if you run across the issue of provide the migration license contact your administrator when using classic licenses to migrate from enterprise to MPP firmware. Thank you.